what's up guys it is your boy <laughs> trader main um here finally i know it took a couple days longer it was canadian thanksgiving on monday i had my family in town and then i was full of turkey so i didn't want to stream because i was full of so much turkey and stuffing i was stuffed full of stuffing so i didn't and then i said i was gonna do it yesterday and then i didn't and then i said i was gonna stream but guess what you're just getting an uploaded video. I'm sorry. The last video we did was with Credible Crypto. Absolute banger. A cook. Um, you know, almost 20,000 views on that already. Great little interview. If you're interested in hearing the thoughts of someone who's been in this a long time, like myself, a very successful guy, very successful trader. Let's talk about the charts. So if you are in the Telegram, or the Discord, or the Haven, or any of the places that I post, even Twitter, because I am so generous, um, I posted about the long idea, basically, right? So, I mean, Twitter, I was a little more vague. I said, hey, you know, lose this demand, it's lights out, right? On Telegram, I made it pretty clear, like, I'm buying this. Um, and then uh, on Haven, obviously, stop entry target, the whole kit and caboodle. Um, so very nice reaction here, right? We had this range, swept the low, put in the H12 sweep, tag that. That was your long entry. Yet you another entry here within the fair value gap. Uh, and then this thing just broke away, right? Fair value gap. That just tells you that this is a strong move uh, away. And now we've taken out this high. Now the question is, what's next? If you've been following me on Twitter, We've got people making bets. I've become an escrow of sorts. I hope that that's not illegal because uh, I didn't do anything, uh, Your Honor, or whoever the fuck may watching this, whichever three-letter agency is, is, is watching this. I'm just escrowing the bets made between two consenting parties, and I'm not being compensated in any way. Actually, I'm losing money because what I realized is I set up new wallets for each of these bets, and none of those wallets have any Ethereum for gas. And, and everyone sent in stable coins. So I'm going to have to deposit Ethereum to move the money. So I'm actually in, in a net negative when you really think about it on this escrow business. And therefore, I should be uh, treated with the absolute maximum amount of leniency uh, because I am retarded. So what's happened since our last video? Obviously, we've pumped that's good. Prices look strong. We've seen a bunch of meme coins and altcoins go up a lot. Now, over the last couple of days, we're seeing a little bit of a shift in the market. So that's kind of what I want to talk about. Now, I do still think things look good. I posted that quick little video update on Telegram yesterday. I do still think things look good. Um, you know, we're just stacking up, stacking up here. However, we are diverging. We are starting to put in a divergence here, right? So we're getting kind of that, you know, high slightly higher high slightly higher high this is very apparent as well here right large fair value gap large fair value gap smaller fair value gap so um you know the question is are we going to get a pullback here right or are we going to just continue to charge higher directly to all-time highs all-time highs being at 74k so I've got a few bets that have been made between people who are thinking, you know, it's 61, right, which is all the way down here before 71. So for it to go to 71K, you know, it's only a 5% move here. For us to go back to 61, uh, it's double that to the downside. And all these were made straight up, no odds. So should be interesting to see what happens. But we are seeing some signs of weakness here. Now, I'm not saying that this is just going to roll over here, but... When you get these kind of marginally higher highs, right? Marginally higher high, marginally higher high. Eventually, we're going to get a correction here because we've basically had our our strong move to the upside. And now we're probably going to get some sort of pullback before continuation. So I'm not in the camp that some people are, like Credible Crypto, for example. Um, he thinks that we're actually going to correct all the way back down and potentially make new lows. Um, he's also short a bunch of altcoins and things like that. I actually agree a lot more on the altcoin side than I do on his BTC view. However, I do think that there's a very good chance that we come back and at the very least test this, but potentially even test this back at the mid-range here. 
So based on this being, you know, a big impulsive move to the upside, at some point we need a flush, whether it's shallow uh, or deeper. Those are kind of the two situations that I'm watching on Bitcoin. So uh, we'll see what happens at kind of this short term area here. A deeper correction would be down into here. Now, I talked about kind of the 64K, 65K zone. So if you draw a line basically right at 64, 65K here, right, to me, you've got this price floor, resistance here, deviate back below. So if this is going to go up and this is the low, this should be support now. Now, does it mean we can't go below it? We can. We can come down and do this retest, like I said, but you'd want to see it reclaim this kind of 64K area and hold it. I would like to see this become support to give me confidence that, you know, we're going to see a move higher. And this is a very good level. So if you zoom out a little bit here, I'll do this and then I will do this. You can see that this is being a very good level. It's not just a random level, right? So resistance here, again, traded below, but reclaimed, traded below, but reclaimed, held it, lost the level, reject, boom, reject, boom, lost it, rejected, support, 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 resistance, resistance, deviated above, reject, right? So it's a key area here on the high time frame, I think. Um, so that's kind of what I'm watching on Bitcoin. I think 64K should hold if we're going to trade higher. If we start breaking and closing below 64K and holding below there, like on the daily time frame, the 12 hour time frame. So basically, if we lose, you know, this here, if we lose this here, uh, then I don't see this low being safe anymore. So even on a deep correction, like I'm talking about, instead of to here, right, it's down to here, it should hold this right, for a higher low relative to this one. Because if it loses this area, uh, I think there's a very good chance that we then take out this low and then who knows how low it goes and perhaps credible is, um, you know, credible is correct. Uh, and we're gonna retrace this entire move. But I do think we're due for some sort of pullback here. So I think the bets are quite interesting because to me, this is the type of structure that is going to get some sort of correction how deep and how fast it will be will be interesting. Or, right, we get one more stab, right? So we've, we've been pushing, pushing. Maybe we get one more high and we take out these equal highs over here because these are basically equal highs at 70K, right? So we could have another push up and then get the correction and then see continuation. But I do think a correction, how big it's going to happen and where it's going to happen from, is always the difficult part. However, in these types of instances, I'm willing to take a few stabs at shorts, right? So like I took a short here yesterday on this sweep, right? We broke down a little bit on this one here, started selling off a little bit, went for just about one R, and then I saw that it got back above this level and I cut. We've got another sweep. So you could take another short here with your stop here. You might get stopped out, but if I'm risking 0.5 R, right? So half risk on these because they're scalps. And let's say you take two or three attempts, right? Let's say three. You're now down negative 1.5 R, right? But because of the way that these types of trades work, where generally you're getting a very tight invalidation, if one of these works, so let's say I've taken three stabs here. I shorted here, failed, shorted here, failed, shorted here again, failed. But then I take it again here, okay? and I have a tight invalidation, and this is the one that ends up playing out, okay? And I get that big correction, and I've caught it now. That asymmetric risk reward, 7R, makes up for those little losses that you take along the way, right? Anyway, so I am expecting some sort of correction. Uh, I, I do think that that is, is due, whether or not it's from here. You know, you got kind of a three drives or we get one more push. And if we do get one more push, to me, those equal highs around 70K right around here seem like where the next push would probably target, right? I don't know yet, but we'll see. We'll keep you guys posted, obviously, if anything develops. Now... What I find interesting and what I think is worth talking about, obviously, we've had some meme coins go insane, right? So that's great. Good for all those people who are making millions off of a few thousand dollars. Not me, right? I'm doing it the hard way, like a retard. 
instead of just buying a meme coin with 2000 bucks and then forgetting about it and it going up 60,000 percent and making millions of dollars why why would i get why would that happen to me why would i be so lucky it's not like i have any good karma from posting on this godforsaken website for years you think they'd just let me catch one just one cooker you know just one you know and the ones that i sell they go up the ones i don't sell i'm still holding them and they're dust anyways um but meme coins specifically like you can look at fbtc as a proxy you can look at soul btc right you can look at soul eth um you can look at a lot of these altcoins that people were you know extremely bullish on oh alt seasons here it's time to rotate your money into alts they're underperforming versus bitcoin because bitcoin dominance actually looks like it's breaking out again and it's making another leg higher and it is so i do think that bitcoin dominance can have another push up into here now why is that important well for a few reasons one if you were you know calling for alt season not yet uh, a lot of these alt btc pairs are going down still um, but two if we do get some sort of pump on btc those divergences between the alt btc pairs will get even worse those alt btcs will dump off even harder or if we get some sort of dump on btc because btc dominance is going up alts are going to pull back exponentially harder so you look at something like whiff i actually had a killer whiff short um, that i closed way too early so we have basically a weekly sweep here in the making right You have a 12 hour order block bearish uh, breaker here for that weekly sweep. And we've had our market structure break on whiff here. So it doesn't look like it, but, or, or maybe not yet, actually. Sorry, the MSB has not occurred yet, but we're close. Once we get an MSB here, this is going to be locked in. Um, as probably a large correction here. You also just have this being very clearly a range here, right? Um, from the low to the high there, right? We've taken out the range high. And this is showing signs of being bearish. It's weak against Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is going to pull back, something like WIF can nuke really, really hard, right? And I talked about this in previous streams. A lot of these altcoins outside of a few, right? I'm not saying the meme coin that's up 10,000% is the exception to the rule. Of course it is. But a lot of these altcoins um, haven't made bullish market structure, right? They've all pumped a bunch, um, but they've pumped into lower highs where can i find a good tau chart here right so they've pumped into lower highs they haven't made bullish market structure yet uh, on the btc pairs um you know outside of a few of the memes and i'm talking like the new memes the memes that are on um you know that aren't even on exchanges yet those have been going crazy for sure but a lot of these older memes mu's been an exception Popcat's been an exception, but pretty much all of these other ones, that's pretty much probably going to be a lower high for now. Pepe, lower high. Sheeb, lower high. Bonk, lower high for now. Um, so a lot of these other ones have been underperforming relatively uh, on this BTC move. Like, So yes, they've went up a lot from the bottom, but they're still underperforming relative to Bitcoin. So that's why I think that Bitcoin dominance chart should still be paying attention to it if you're trying to time your altcoins and stuff like that. If that thing makes another leg up, regardless of whether Bitcoin goes up or down, alts probably underperform, right? So if Bitcoin goes down, alts overperform to the downside. If Bitcoin goes up, they underperform to the upside. Not all, but most, right? So yeah, uh, obviously I'm hoping some of this fucking meme coin money flows into something with utility because me being the retard that I am, I bought AI coins being like, oh, gaming and AI is going to be huge this cycle. Uh, and I'm just getting under, I'm getting outperformed by a literal AI coin that launched a meme coin. Like, I don't know, man. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to get back to the more active posting this week now that all the Thanksgiving food's been digested and things like that 
But yeah, that's all I got. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I've been super active lately, guys. Telegram's going off. Discord's going off. Um, if you want to um, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, please do. I've been posting on those on stories and on TikTok almost every day, just talking through trades and just kind of, you know, quick market updates. I'm going to do some more just kind of content on there around talking about just trading shit in general. But we're trying to blow up on all platforms, as you guys fucking know. So if you want to support your boy, that's the best way to do it. Uh, but yeah, let's see how these bets play out. Most of the bets are 61K or 70K. What comes first? Looks like the 71K guys are in the lead right now, but that's yet to be locked in. This can still go up a little more and then sell off. Equities off this level we drew a few weeks ago just ripped. Uh, the dollar has also just ripped. The dollar is flying. So the question is, right, I talked about this reclaim here. You don't often see all three of these things go up, risk, dollar, right, crypto at the same time. When is the when is the actual correlation going to return? So is the dollar going to top out and everything's going to continue to rip? Or are equities and risk going to top out and dollar is going to continue to rip? It's yet to be seen, but something to watch for sure. I know a lot of people were calling for doom and gloom. It's the end of the dollar right at the range lows. So let's see what happens. Anyways, sorry for the delay. Hope you enjoy the video. Leave likes, leave comments. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.